Hey guys, Hori Ian here and welcome back. I am going to review the main streets of Gajazan cards and it's the full set. I think it should be the full set. Maybe I missed out one card. But I guess I can't do anything. Right here. Yeah, it says one out of one three one. I have no idea why. But anyways, like it looks like I have all the cards though. But okay, we'll see afterwards. Anyways, uh I am going to separate all the cards into from zero to ten. Zero to one is very bad. Two to three is uh bad. Uh four to yeah, just four. Just four is quite bad. Five is average. Six is quite good. Seven to eight is good. Nine to ten is very good. Anyways, yep, I am going to review them pretty damn fast, okay? So, yep. First off is Grime Street Smuggler. Better cry, give a random minion in your hand plus one plus one. By the way, guys, um, I would like to apologize for the bad quality. Yeah, you can see it. But anyways, yep. Uh, give a random minion in your hand plus one plus one. I think you would see this in uh, hand buffing decks. Or there may be better cards. Should be see like should be seen like some play. So I'm gonna rate this like six point five out of ten. It's like Cthulhu's chosen. You see, Cthulhu's chosen is not bad. Some people play it and some people don't. Anyways, next is Grime Street Informant. Uh, better cry discover a hunter paladin on board with card. I think it may see a bit of play, but it's not exactly the best. Uh, maybe after a few one month, maybe this card wouldn't see play unless it is in control decks or mid range decks. Other than that, probably won't see play. Next is Dawn Hand Troll. Better cry, give a random meaning in your hand plus 5 plus 5. It is a mid to late game card. So, yeah, but the thing is that it is really good. It is better cry as well. And technically, the stats are 10 11. If I'm not wrong, yeah, 10 11. So, I think this could see you play in Tons Warrior. Tons Warrior is like a control deck, right? So, you may want to play Ragnaros. Okay, Ragnaros is not really super good in this hand buffing deck, but whatever. Uh, Ragnaros, Gromash, maybe Malkorok. Uh, you certainly also want to play Don Hand Troll, right? So, this card is 7.5. Like Malkorok, Malkorok is actually 8. Uh, Maybe 7.8. Yeah, I'll rate this card 7.8. Should C play. Oh, yeah, I think I missed out on uh, the Lotus class. Oh, I kind of screwed up a bit. But I guess it's alright. Um, there, there is a bit of confusion. But okay, I'll review the Lotus agents. Uh, better cry, discover a Dread Rogue or Shaman card. Okay. Uh, I think this is um not really good card, but it still may see play in those mid range decks. So I'm going to rate this as a six. Okay, let's go to here first. Uh, I actually got this too. I think I don't know what happened. Kind of screwed up with this random Drake card over here. But anyways, yeah, we were be reviewing this Jade Spirit Battle Cry Summon a Jade Golem uh, after the cards you know have been released surprisingly there aren't any more Jade related cards let's say but this is still pretty good I read this 7 solid card and then I have Black Paw I read this a 9 very very good card you can bring it back with Zoth no, you can bring like Zoth, Jade, Shaman, Zoth, Shaman back and then like with the Jade, Golden stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. I will try it. I will definitely try it when the expansion comes out. I am going to tour in just like... It's the time now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to tour in about... 
uh, eight, nine hours, about nine hours time, about two a.m. Going to China, and yeah, when I wake up and all this, uh, it should be around thirtieth of November when we set it down. No, okay. So, anyways, let's go back. After I kind of screw up, we have Kabao Korea. Better cry, discover a mage, priest, a warlock card. Should see play in a Reno mage. Or, I mean, those control decks. So, I will rate this card as a 7. Solid card. Solid card. Should see play, to be honest. I would, I would play this. Uh. And then Cabal Chemist, add a random potion to your hand. Good card. Uh, after looking at all the stuff, you also have Freezing Potion. That's the newest potion, Freezing Potion. I guess all, all the potions are pretty old, right? To be honest, you got AoE, you got Freeze, you got Buffs. So I would say this is pretty good. I think this may see play. Another 7. Okay, next is Kazakas. I'll rate this as 9. You are going to play in every single Reno deck. Like Reno Priest. But the thing is that for Priest, do you really need a Reno? <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but yeah, no duplicate Priest. I think, I think people may still play Reno Jackson. Why not, man? I don't know, but I mean, this is going to be 9, definitely. We'll see play 100% in all those Reno classes. Reno decks, yeah. Okay, we have... Yep, it's now Dread. Mark of the Lotus. Give your minions plus 1 plus 1. I think it is a solid card. 7.5 out of 10. Or maybe 7. Uh... You can play this in Biz Dreads, in Token Dreads. Pretty, pretty damn good, I guess. Uh, Power of the Wow is also very good. So, but the thing is that Power of the Wow is better. This should see play alongside Power of the Wow. Unless this is this cannot make it and it is not seen play. But I think this may see quite a bit of play. The next is Lunar Visions. Draw two cards. Minions drawn cost two less. Uh, probably won't see play at all because. No, actually, to be honest, may see be with play in Beast Dream. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. It's not really saying super interesting, but I guess may see play alongside with Norwich. Yeah. Okay, next, Proof of Power. I read this card as 4 because you do not get any wild growth. I mean, I mean, you do, you do not get any SS mana to draw a card. That's number 1. Number 2, like, if you're going to play a lot of minions at the early game, you do not need a lot of mana crystals. And if you need a lot of mana crystals, you're going to play very big minions. So this card is just, just really bad. I mean, this card is actually not 4. 3.5. This card is really bad. I have no idea how, how like, people will play this card. No. Next is Kun, the Forgotten King. Some people may play this with Aviana. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's just like... Scenarios. Scenarios is a solid and a good card. And Kun will be almost like have has has the same rating. It has the same rating as the scenarios probably. This is how I rate scenarios. Scenarios is like eight. Kun will also be eight. Maybe eight point two. Same as scenarios. Scenarios will be eight point two. Next we have Jade Behemoth. 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 B. He. Well, I guess. <laughs> Tons better cry summon a jig golem. Solid card. Should see play. It's like the six mana five seven tons guy. And he did see quite a good amount of play. It's a good card. This is also going to be a good card. Seven point nine out of ten. Next is Jade Idol. 
I rate this card 8.8 .8 out of 10. This is a good card overall. It's like Raven Idol. Raven Idol is like maybe, yeah, maybe around 8.8 .8 as well. This will be just as good. And definitely may see play in Fatigue Dread. Yeah, I see this happening, man. And then Fatigue Dread, not only can you control the board, you can also make your opponent has Fatigue and all this. Very good. But you don't take fatigue damage yourself because you have infinite value, right? Okay, next, Vermin Sensei. I read this card as 6.4. Oh, okay, let's maybe out of 100. 64 out of 100. Give a friendly beast plus 2 plus 2. Yeah, I guess it is alright. You may see playing Beast Dream. Other than that, you probably wouldn't see playing any other decks. I guess either it managed to, you know, be part of it or just, bruh, just too bad. Don't know, I guess this is alright. So, 6.64, Okay, if a friendly minion has 5 or more attack, game plus 2, plus 2. I mean, like, no, it is way too conditional, to be honest. It is an alright card in uh arena. It's actually pretty solid in arena. So yeah, um but the thing is that yeah probably when see playing constructed in constructed I rate this card as four out of ten because this is not part of hand buffing decks, right? Hand buffing decks are Hunter, Warrior and Paladin, but this is a dread card. So probably when see play unless you play in Beast Dread. Uh, other than that no. Or Vamp Dread, but I guess I don't really see how this card can can see play. Next, we are at okay, we are at a hunter. Death better give a random minion in your hand plus two plus two. Well, okay, pretty solid card. May I'm surprised no one has played Zolf Hunter. Zolf Hunter is not a proper deck, it's not a legit deck, not a lot of people plays that deck. But that deck is pretty good to be honest. And this is also very good because this is part of the hand buffing stuff, right? So this card is good. Just maybe 77 out of 100. Next is Trop. Beast Rager, it's just like King's Edda. King's Edda already has 93. This card will be 87 out of 100. Solid card. Give a random beast. It's an auto add in, in hand buff stuff. It's just solid. But Kanye Grandmother is better, to be honest. But this is just really solid. This has the stats of a Kanye Grandmother. And if Kanye Grandmother is really good, this is also going to be very good. So 87, or oh, 86, yeah, 86. Battle cry, deal damage equal to this minion's attack. Uh, this card is also good. I read this card as 80, 83. Yeah, it's another auto add in the hand buffs decks. I don't know, I feel bad for rating it for too low. Maybe 86 as well. Deal damage, uh, probably when this gets buffed. 4 mana, 3 5. Better cry, do 3 damage. It's really good. As long as it is buff plus 1 attack, it's really good. But let's say um, you get buffed by uh, like this card, for example. Tro uh, not Tropy Sager, Shaky Zip Gunner. Shaky Zip Gunner, right? Mm, it is a 4 mana, 4 6. Better cry, do 4 damage. How good is that? In fact, 4 mana 2, 5, uh, no, 4 mana 2, 4, due to damage, it's really good. It's just like Keeper of the Growth, correct? Keeper of, of the Growth, so, so much play. This, we we'll also see play in hand buff decks. It, it may even see play in, in, those, in those classic mid-range hunters without hand buffings, because it is indeed really good, that good. Next is a uh, Piranha Launcher. Whenever your hero attacks, summon a 1-1 one, one Piranha. I think this probably won't see play. If this was a 5 mana 4 2 or 4 mana 4 2, 4 mana 4 2, this should see play. But this is a 5 mana 2 4. It is too slow, way too slow. 
uh, I don't think it is too slow for Zolf Hunter and then the value is not really there so I'm gonna make this card as 3.5 as well same goes to Proof of Power just bad uh, okay Red Pack is OP really OP uh, okay without any buffs it is already very good it's like Infested Wolves. Infested Wolves is already about 87 or 86 because it is a solid good card. And that pack is almost like it. Summon on number 1 1 vets equal to this minions attack. Uh, without the buffs, it's like 3 mana 4 4, which is yeah pretty good. With the buffs, however, just extra 1 1 instead. 3 mana 3 3. Death Hatter summon 3. 1-1 one, one reds that it is a uh, 3 mana 6-6 six, six, and that is OP I'm gonna rate this as 93 because it is so good and I feel bad for hunters kinda of, usually like hunters never never really gotten a good legendary the closest was dread skill but people hardly play that and yeah I pity Hunter the most like for other classes they have such good legendaries for example Tyrion Forging Ragnaros Fire Lord no Ragnaros Fire Lord it's Ragnaros Light Lord Pardon done as easy as that Warrior Monk Rock um, Varian no Gromash and then there's um 10 mana 7 7 Varian something I've forgotten but okay Varian Reen or something uh, yeah okay uh then for rogue is uh what's that Edwin Van Cleef and then for priest yeah Prophet Valen to uh for OTK and is it is better than every single uh hunter legendary but now you you have Raza the Chained Raza the Chained is a priest legendary that will never see play hundred percent it is so good. Like every single class got got a good legendary and look at the new cards. New cards legendary like class legendaries are like um Ink Master Soldier. Like every single class has a good legendary new legendary. The next worst rogue legendary I mean yeah the next worst like legendary is um next bad legendary is Shaku maybe? But Shaku is still pretty good to be honest. So Hey, this card is gonna be really bad. After these minions, after these attacks, so a minion is also hit stand. I mean, he will get buff. It's pretty good to be honest. Yeah, the seven health is hard to deal at turn five. Everyone knows that because if if this was at turn six, you can clear it. But uh, five turn five eight is much harder. To be honest. Uh, yeah, this will be a pretty solid card, but I don't see any play this Messi. Unless it is seen in play in hand buffing stuff or mid range, but there's Stringerton Tiger, which would probably be a better choice. So, uh, I guess this card is about 5 out of 10, it's just average. five point uh, 55 out of 100. Next is a uh, Smuggler's Crate. It's lucky this is a beast. If this is not a beast, this this will see in zero play. Smuggler's Crate. It's a card. I'll read this as a 80, 84. And yeah, just a good card. Nothing really to say. We'll see playing hand buffing stuff. Really, it's just like stolen goods. Give a man taunt minion in your hand. Plus 3, plus 3. This is plus 2, plus 2. But it is only 1 mana. It only costs 1 mana. Next is Eddie Cat, Better Cry Summon the One Man Cat. It is a very good card. Just like a Fire Bat, this is another card Aggro Hunters may play. And yeah, it is really good. Unfortunately, this does not have any, have any synergies. I mean, a lot of synergies with um, the hand buffing stuff. This was uh, Better Cry Summon. Um, a copy of this at the end of a turn or something like that uh, it would be much better but anyways we have okay this card would be 86 solid card next is hidden 
catch. Uh, this card will be rated the same as cat trick. Cat trick is about 86 or 85. So I rate this card as 85 because it is not bad indeed. I like, now say it really. We'll be seeing it hand buffing Hunter. Definitely. I like, like, Blizzard, like, the approach of this game introducing new stuff. I like it. And next is Better Cry Choose a Friendly Minion Shuffle Copy into your deck. We'll, we'll probably see play in our uh, Reno decks. Uh, maybe a bit too, too slow for Temple Mage. Yeah. But this we see play in Reno Mage, probably. Mm, this this is a good card. I'm going to read it as um. Yeah, just good and. It will be about a eighty three, eighty three. I mean, yeah. This is Cabal Lackey. Usually one mana, one 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 mana cards, the uh, match cards are going to be very good. You have. Uh, uh, what's that? Mana Rim, right? Yeah, Mana Rim. That's only one drop so far. And Babbling Book, yeah. And both both of them are really good. A lot of people are saying, oh, Babbling Book has too much IG. Uh, looks like they did not learn from uh, Yoxon. And then they're gonna say, oh, Babbling Book is bad. Uh, sad for all of them because Babbling Book is actually very solid. And this card will be very solid as well. Although, yeah, I mean, Mew Entity will not be as good. A lot of, a lot of some cards will not be as good. But you got Ice Block. You got Ice Barrier. You got quite a number of class, right? You can even play Potion of Polymorph. This card is going to be good. I, mean, I would say this card is going to be good. But obviously, Kukurin for Mage it will probably be better. But yeah, we just cut as um eight point okay eighty eighty two out of hundred. Next is volcanic potion. Due to damage to all minions, may see a bit of nah probably won't see it play, but we'll see like play because of all of this potion stuff. Is it? Is it? Unlike uh, this, for example, about chemists, people are gonna play that. So maybe they may get this card, which is alright, I guess. And yeah, so that's why I'm going to say that this is um, uh, it is not a good, really a good card if you put it in your deck like that. But it will be alright if you play with uh adding a potions, all of that. So seven out of ten, seventy out of hundred. Next, Potion of Polymorph, secret, after your opponent plays a minion, transform it into a 1-1 one, one ship. Maybe really good in some cases, maybe really bad in some cases. No value in all this. Like let's say, um, your opponent plays a Cane Blast Wolf. Uh, yeah, Mew Entity is probably better. But I really wonder what happens with uh, Javaxus. Yeah, by the way, this is gonna be a good card. Yeah. Okay, next is Cabal Crystal Runner. We this card as a uh, seven, uh, 77. Next is Cabal Crystal Runner, is like a thing from below. Thing from below is probably about 90 or 100. Uh, maybe 94, 95. Because it is so good. Cost two less for each. Secret you've played this game. So just play three secrets and done. This is a zero mana five five we, without taunts, but it's alright. This card is not gonna be as good as thing from below, but it's still gonna be very good in secret mage. And I'm gonna read this card as 87. Next is Ink Master Solia. Holy moly! You will see play in every single Reno Mage ever. Uh, the next spell you can cause don't like you can play flame strike and play Kazaka's new potion spells and all this. Holy moly! Like, not only that, like you can get, it's it's like a zero mana five five, gain three mana crystals this turn only, and then you can play Kazaka's, uh, custom spell right. Wow, man. Really big, really huge. This card's gonna be. I'm gonna read it as ninety. 
94. It's like Archmage Antonidas. Archmage Antonidas is very good, 87 about there. Didn't see a, a lot of play, but saw good amount of play, fair amount of play. This card, a lot of people will play this card uh, after the suspensions comes out. But yeah, very good. Next is Cairo Mensa, the new spells. Cairo Mensa, Cryo Mensa. Game plus two plus two. If an enemy is frozen, yeah, I will rate this card as uh very good. Okay, actually, not good. Just solid, man. Uh, Temple Freeze Mage will be a thing. It was kind of like a thing already, but. Some people are saying that isn't Temple Freeze Mage. I don't know why. Because you're gonna play Demented First Corner. I don't know. Why are you gonna call it? Someone in the comments said Temple Cold Mage. What the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. What Temple Cold Mage? C O L D. What the fuck? Cold Mage. What? So, uh, Carmancer would see play in um Temple Freeze Mage. Probably. If it, it would be a thing, some people will try it. I I would be one of the person to try it because I like, I like mage. Mage is my favorite class. I am a good hero in mage. I love mage so much. Followed by warrior and then paladin and then hunter, and then so on and so forth. So um, anyways, yeah, back to this. This card is gonna be about pretty solid. Eighty out of hundred. Oh, but maybe because the mana cost already is 70, 78 out of 100. It's still pretty solid. And Freezing Potion is one to help. That, and yeah, you will play this, Icelands, please. Uh, I can see a Temple Freeze Mage coming out. I mean, s some people actually uh, like, like, uh, made Temple Freeze Mage already, so... This would have better cards and all that. Okay, next is greater arcane missiles. I read this card as um, just average. Like I, Ice Lance is a good card in freeze mage. I read that, I read I read the card eighty five out of hundred, because it is very important in freeze mage. Not freeze mage wouldn't be a thing. This card is not as good as Ice Lance obviously, but it costs one less of mana. But I'm still gonna read this as um about seventy five. Greater Arcane Missiles. Nasty play in Control Mage, but it isn't really that good, really. Arcane Missiles is really good because it has all those combos with Flame Waker. So, Arcane Missiles, I read, this, I, I read the card as 87. Flame Waker itself, I read the card as 90, 98 out of 100. Really, it's so good. Flame Strike, about 95. Greater Arcan Missiles 70 70 Yeah, just 70 I mean uh, yeah. You wouldn't see play in Temple Mage obviously You wouldn't see play in Freeze Mage This card costs a fuck lot And that is the downside So this may actually see no play at all Maybe I may even read it at 68 out of 100 I'm not really saying a good card Really A bit disappointing for this, uh, because like it's like triple arcane missiles gives you nine damage, and it costs three mana. This costs seven mana. It is so expensive, so bad. I I'm gonna rate it as fifty eight out of hundred. I changed my mind after thinking and thinking. This card is just really bad. Uh, the only thing I see this card if. People try to play is Reno Mage. Not um uh, not really saying really good. Next is a Grime Street Outfit. A lot of people are saying that this card is quite bad. And I'm like, what the fuck are you even talking about? This is one good addition to Ego Pardon. The cancer. You know, Secret Pardon was so so cancerous. I hate that deck. But obviously, you can counter with flare each of secrets. But <laughs> anyways, uh, give four minions in your hand plus one plus one. Uh, yeah, really good. Uh, better cry. A lot of people are saying two mana one ones. I'm really bad, but this has 
very good value and since it is part of hand buffing stuff so I, like draw one like main street marshall for example all of this yeah i know i kind of fucked up the uh, order but yeah okay so still gonna make this card as very good yeah very good 84 out of 100 next is smugglers run give all minions in your hand plus one plus one yeah solid card 80 80 out of 100 because it doesn't come with a body but uh yeah 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 okay get away Kodo whenever a friend of minions dies return it to your hand I mean mysterious challenger to be honest he is still in standard but people just don't play him I, I've saw zero play from mysterious challenger in standard really because Avenge has rotated out of standard and when Avenge rotated out of standard that secret bang no more but if you add in another secret, Mysterious Changer may see play again. Oh no! Okay, but I guess this is cut. This cut is still right. Not as good as um, Avenge. It's not as good as Redemption. Maybe most of the time. Okay, like for example, this guy, Grime Street Outfitter. Yeah, it is indeed. Like you won't get away Kodo instead of, ah. Uh, Instead of redemption, uh, it may be good as, as sometimes. May may see play, but it's not very super strong. This card has a six point eight out of ten. Next, Grime Streets Enforcer. And then I return. Give all minions in your hand plus one plus one. Uh, may not see as much play as people may think it would. Uh, this card is five mana, so it won't see play in aggro pattern. It's just way too slow. Messi play in mid range party, however. So, I guess because of that, I'm gonna rate this card as 70 out of 100. Another card that will only see play in mid range party is Gram Street's Protector. But I don't really know if uh, if mid range party will even be a thing. It's something like Dragon Party and all this. But okay, uh, Tom's better cry give adjacent minions divine shield. Not really saying super exciting. Um, oh, this card is sixty five. Okay, sixty five. So this card is sixty five as well. Not really saying super good. Small time recruit. However, I'm gonna read this card is ninety out of hundred because it is three mana draw three cards, and that is so insane, man. Really insane. Just like Divine Favor. Divine Favor is about like 85 out of 100. And this guarantees you to draw 3 cards. So that, I would rate it as a 90 out of 100. Okay, Min Street Marshall is like a uh, mm, babbling book. The rating would be like babbling book. I would rate this card as 88 out of 100. It's better if this minion has two or more attack. You just need a plus one attack. You got Beauty Sergeant there with Alpha Divine Strength. Um and then those buffing cards, Gram Street Outfitter, right? So uh, a lot of this should see you play. Okay, next we have Weaker Flame Burn Brewster Divine Shield Taunt Damage dealt by this minion also heals your hero. May see play an aggro pardon to be honest because it is 3 mana, uh, Macy play mid range party. I guess this is a solid card. Uh, I'm this card is 8 out of 10, 80 out of 100, or 77, 77 out of 100, probably. Yeah, okay. Next, we have Grime Skill Chum. Give a random Murloc in your hand, plus one, plus one. They're trying to push Aggro Murloc party. I can see it. Uh, yeah, people may play all of this stuff in um. Ego party as well, like uh, smugglers one and all this. So yeah, I guess this is gonna be a pretty good card. I P to that other card. I forgot what's the name. Murloc Raider. He has actually another name. I forgot his nickname. About Ben or something. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. Okay. Give a random me Murloc in your hand plus one plus one. I'll read this card as um seventy seven. 
Next is Potion of Madness. Gain control of an enemy minion with two or less attack until end of turn. Guess this is a alright card. Good control card. People may see play a bit. Uh, 68 out of 100. Next is Cabal Talent Priest. Very good card. A Dark Cultist. I'm going to rate that card as 70, 72 out of 100. This is 80, 82 out of 100. Yeah. Better card is better than the Death Rattle, really. Okay. Next is Draconoid. Operative Better cry if you're holding a dragon discover a card in your opponent's deck discovering better than shifting shade I read shifting shade as about 83 This card is 94 No 96 96 No 95 yeah 95 out of 100 If you're holding a dragon discover deck I mean discover a card in your opponent's deck Yeah That's the dragon synergy as well Pin size potion pretty good in control but may not see it. Really, a lot of play. Just like, uh, what's the card? Push on madness. Uh, that card is sixty-eight. This card will also be sixty-eight. Next is dragon fire potions. Uh, very good against non mirror matches. Uh, on on or uh, against opponents that play that plays a non non dragon decks. So, yeah, this card is very good. I I think I may need to craft two more in your server because those are dragon dragon cards that would see play in Dragon Priest. So yeah. Uh read this card. It's pretty damn good. I like this card. This card is gonna be a better frame strike usually. And uh, it's like fell fire potions as well. Fell fire potion is gonna be good, so this card is also going to be good. I'm gonna read this card as probably eighty out of hundred. Okay, I I gotta be faster. Okay, mana mana gear mana gear. Whenever this minion is used, summon a two two prism. Sorry, card seventy five out of hundred. Next is Vazar the Chain. A better card if your deck has no duplicate. Your hero power costs zero. This game very OP. Uh, like we see playing those non duplicate decks. So I uh, I read this card as. 92 out of 100 Next we have Cabal Song Studer Messi play in the Purified Priest But Purified Priest no one will play you really But still and uh, better Christ Silence a Minion It will be uh, 70 out of 100 No 65 out of 100 Greater Healing Potion is just almost useless But Messi play in OTK decks yo Wow they, they are actually pushing OTK decks Really Imagine if you have Prophet Venom and all this, and then you. Oh, but wait, no. Oh, my bad. I did not see friendly character. And this would probably see no play at all. Mm, this card is like 5 out of 10. There's Counterfeit Coin, OP card. We are at Rogue now. OP card. This card is 90 out of 100. Next, we have Lotus Assassin. Now, nah, this is just. 30 out of 100, Shaku the Collector, Stealth whenever this attacks, add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. I uh, got a bit of Stealth synergy there. I'm gonna read this card as 70, 72. Next we have Jade Shukiran, Shuriken, Shuriken. Due to damage combo summon Jade Gold. Alright, card. Looks like Jade Rogue is probably going to see the least play out of all the Jade decks. So, yeah, this card is alright. I'm gonna read this card as 70. Next is Jade Swarmer, Stealth, Zephyr, Summon the Jade Golem. I guess this is not bad, um, but still, 2 mana 1 1, Stealth, and then Zephyr, Summon a 1 1 is very bad. So, anyways, I'm gonna read this card as bad, and it's gonna be 5 out of 10 as well. Get the Zan Fair Man, once you play in Constructed, as easy as that. Uh, probably I'm gonna read this card as bad and very bad to be honest and it's gonna be 20 out of 100 next we have Shadow Shadow Sensei this card is gonna be about 50, uh, 50 60 out of 100 but the card give a stealth minion plus 2 plus 2 I need to see more stealth synergies to be honest but all the cards have been reviewed and 
Stealth synergy I put in these things is just not enough. Next year, Shadow Rager, Stealth, that's all. Like, that's fucking all. Uh, this card is gonna be very bad. So, not enough Stealth synergies. Maybe after like a few months uh, when adventures come, come, come out, then maybe more Stealth synergy cards may come out, and this may actually become good. Shadow Mirager may actually become good next time, but not for now. Sorry, bro, you're, you're, you're just 10 out of 100. This is a uh, 65, maybe, no, 50, 52, 52 out of 100. Uh, better cry if your weapon has at least 3 attack, gain plus 4, plus 4. I can see this in Pirate Rogue. Obviously, it is the pirate himself. I guess it is alright, to be honest. Um, gonna read this card as. Good. Yeah, good. And you may uh, also play this in the arena, followed by a deadly poison, right? Or, or if you have assassin's blade, of this. So this card is gonna be pretty good. Uh, eighty out of hundred. Next, I have jade lightning combo. No, not combo. Summon the jade golden itself. Uh, maybe probably a four mana two to deal four damage, which is good enough. I'm gonna this card as good, and it's gonna be eighty out of hundred. A coin the finishes. Uh, it is Murloc, so it has a bit of synergies with Murloc Shaman. They're pushing Murloc Shaman, but that just just this card. Uh, I don't know whether a lot of people will play Murloc Shaman, but Murloc Shaman is alright. Uh, I'm gonna read this card as sixty of hundred. Next we have Jade Chieftain, Better Cry, Summon the Jade Golem, give it tons. This is a solid card, eighty three of hundred. Next is Devolve, uh, doesn't really control the bot, but I guess it is not bad at all. It's like Evolve, it's like Evolve, and I'm gonna read this card as probably 70, 100, maybe 75, but probably won't see play. May see a bit of play though. Anyways, we have Jinyu, Water Speaker, Better Cry Restore 6 Health Overload 1, may see play in Control Shaman, which is Jade Golem Shaman next time round. And uh, it's gonna be pretty uh, awesome. Fire Guard Destroyer is actually really good. I'm surprised no one plays that. So, Jinyu Water Speaker, it's alright as well. I'm gonna rate that card as um this card as a 75 out of 100. Let's have Jade Claws, Better Cry Summon Jade Golem Overload 1. I guess it is all right in there, and I'm gonna read this card as um eighty uh, seventy eight out of hundred seventy eight out of hundred. Next we have White Eyes. Uh yeah, this is another one that pushes Zoth Shaman Shuffle the Stone Garden to the deck. I don't know why Trump says this is not really as really good. You you have Elise Star Seeker and Elise Star Seeker is very good. Although you have to shuffle two copies. Like, first you must draw onto it is Stasica, maybe t 3 if you want to be a Zap. It is Stasica, shuffle the map to the Golden Monkey, and then you must draw the map to the Golden Monkey, shuffle it again, and then you must get a Golden Monkey. So, 3 times, and, and, yeah, but that card is still seen in almost every single control deck ever. And this card is still going to be very good, huh? And this card is 87. Next we have fi Finders Keepers, uh, discover a card with Overload, Overload 1. This card is... Yeah, this card is good, I guess. I don't know if you see play or not. May see a bit of play. Uh, 70... 73. After these million attacks, a hero transform it into a random 6 cost mean. Uh, I guess it is actually quite good in the arena, to be honest. Uh, Evolve Shaman may play? Nah, uh, I don't really know, man. Uh, this card overall, uh, probably won't see playing Constructed. Where this card is 65. Next is the Beast and Enforcer. Uh, after seeing all the cards, at first I thought this this isn't really super good. But they also got more synergies with um, all, the, all, all these demon stuff, right? So... This card may actually see some play, good play. Uh, I don't know if you will see play in Reno Lock because Hellfire is much better. Like it's like Doom, VS, Twisting Nether. Twisting Nether is always better. 
So, uh, better could do 3 damage to all other characters. Would be pretty decent. I'll rate this card as 7.8 out of 10. Next we have C Devil Stinger. Um, the next Murloc you play this turn costs half instead of mana. Again, I don't know if people will play Murloc. M U R L O C K. Murloc, Warlock. Something like that. Uh, people may try this card, but I need to see more Warlock only card, which has the synergies with this Murloc. You only just print one Murloc card, it's not gonna be a, really a lot, like it's not gonna change a lot of stuff. Yes, and uh, this card is still gonna be good, probably next time it will be very good. Uh, this card is gonna be for now 60. Out of hundred, they say blood for a potion. This is really not as good, but Macy play in um uh those demon lock or like zoo lock. So I'm um, just gonna make this card as sixty, uh, seventy. They say fell fire potion, deal five damage to all characters. Good AOE, Macy. Uh, probably see play in uh Reno lock. And yeah, I'm gonna read this card as good. It is going to be 80 out of 100. Next, you have Crystal Weaver. Better card give your demons plus one plus one. Good, uh, yeah, pretty good card. Should see playing Demon Lock. Demon Lock will be a decent card, a uh, decent deck. So, this will be 80 out of 100. Next is Blast Crystal Potion. Destroy a minion and one of your mana crystals. Macy play in Reno Lock, Macy play in Demon Lock. May even see play in um Zoo Lock. But anyways, this is alright. You have you have what discounts I forgot. Awesome discounts or something. Discard two random cards. Destroy two random enemy minions. That is good. But the thing is that it saw no play. This may actually see no play at all as well. So I'm gonna read this card as 60. Next we have Kabao Trafficker at the end of your turn. Add a random demon card to your hand. Very really good card. I read this card as 84, 85, 85. Whenever you summon a minion, deal 5 damage to your hero. Uh, it's like Fell Weaver, right? Fell Weaver is a 5 mana 8 8, which is really good sometimes. Uh, but if your opponent plays a lot of cards, it's not gonna be good. So, huh, I guess this card is going to be alright. Whenever you summon a minion, deal 5 damage to your hero. Mm. Yeah, this card is going to be good. I mean, okay, good. I mean, 5 damage is actually a lot, so I don't know if you will play a lot of this kind of cards. I'm already at 60 out of 100. And the next is Crew the Unshackered. If your deck has no duplicates, summon all demons from your hand. Uh, if Malgani is well still in uh, standard, how oh, this card would be even more insane. But still, this is a pretty good demon. And I'll read this card as 87. Next is Warrior Time. I knew a guy. This is going to be uh, 80 out of 100, 80, 80, 83, 84. Okay, at the end of your turn, give a random minion your hand plus 2 plus 2. Good buff. I read this card as um, mm, 74, 74. Next is stolen goods. Give a random taunt minion your hand plus 3 plus 3. I read this card as 80, 85. Next is Eddie Armor Smith, I'm gonna discard as 90, it's very good. Next is, uh, the only thing you have to worry about is, uh, what's that? What is that card? 6 mana 4 5. Cabal Shadow Priest. Cobra's Shadow Priest. Something like that. And then it's Grim Street, it's a Pawn Broker. Give him a weapon in your hand, plus 1 plus 1. Decent card. Uh, but I don't know whether people are playing or not. I'm gonna discard as, um, alright. 70 out of 100. Next is Thorium Knuckles. After your hero attacks, give a random minion in your hand plus 1 plus 1. Again, this would be better if it was a 3 2. But, anyways, I guess it is alright. Decent card. 75 out of 100. 
public defender, two mana zero seven tons. It has the tons synergies, not as good as the others. But since this is warrior only, this would see more play, and we see playing uh, tons warrior probably. And I'm gonna read this card as seventy two. Next is sleep with the fishers. This is a very bad card. Do three damage to all damage minions. The fuck do you wanna play? What? I don't see this card happening, and this card is gonna be very bad. I'm gonna read this card as 10 out of 100, maybe like 9 out of 100, 11 out of 100, probably around there. Next is Hobart, Grapple Hammer. Give all weapons in your hand and deck plus one attack. This would be much better if it was a pirate, but it isn't. But I guess you still may play it. It's not really seen. I don't, I don't know if you see it or not. 68 out of 100. Next, we have Cookie Chemist. We are at uh, neutral's, neutral commons now. We have Cookie Chemist. Stop the attack and health of a minion. Uh, I guess it is alright. 60, 60 out of 100. This is alright as well. I don't know if this will see play in all those ego decks. 1 mana 2 2 is much better, but that is only a Drit only card. Uh, Yes, this would be 60 out of 100 as well. Friendly bartender. We wouldn't see you play in any single deck at all. So, this card is only going to be 48, 45. This is Grootful Master. Ah, uh, Winfury. Shitty card, to be honest. Ah, uh, just a Winfury Harper. This card is 30 out of 100. This card is. 20 out of 100, wouldn't see play. Higher gun may see a bit of playing Tons Warrior, but since it is neutral, Tons Warrior may not play this this guy. It's just a. Uh, you have Fierce Monkey, Fierce Monkey will be better than this guy here, so this would only be a 40 out of 100. Next, you have Bro Gill Sniper, better quite deal 1 damage, may see play in Murloc, Aggro Murloc decks. So I'm not going to completely rule this out, this has potential, potential, to be honest, in aggro murloc decks. So, I'm going to read this card as probably 60 out of 100. Next is big time racketeer, decent cards, wouldn't see playing constructor, if you get this from Moonglade Porter, Fuse Priest, man. To be honest, I can't say Fuse Priest anymore when uh this expansion comes out because Priest is going to be OP. So, Fuse bad, man. I'm going to read this card as 60, 62 out of 100. Next is Tenarius. If your opponent's hand is empty, gain charge. May see play in, uh, in arena. But um, this card is bad. 40. This card may actually see play in aggro decks. So I'm not going to completely rule this out. This is just like Lepanome. Um, 3 mana. Even if it's 3 mana, it is luckily still in the aggro range. Aggro range is usually one to three mana unless the 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 effect is so strong like Doom Guard for example. Seen in Zulok, although it is five mana but it has charge five seven whoa very good. And with the discard mechanics as well. So this card may actually see some play. I'm gonna make this card as seventy out of hundred. They say toxic zeros um, better credit when um, remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. Um, to be honest, acidic swamp ooze is better. Yeah, acidic swamp ooze is much better. So this card wouldn't see any play. This card is 44 out of 100. This is Hosen Healer. Restore a minion to full health. Well, no, won't see a play in construction. This card is 30 out of 100. This damning reporter form and a four four again all the commons for now we're not gonna see them in constructor so this card is going to be thirty uh forty out of hundred in constructor okay we have engine of blossoms tons three eight may actually see playing tons warrior this card I would it's pretty interesting to be honest because it has eight health um but we have bulk creeper if tons warrior it's going to play. Wouldn't they also play Bulk Creeper? So they would choose definitely choose Bulk Creeper over this guy. So probably only like in Constructed uh, 40, 50 out of 100 in Constructed. All enemy minions lose stealth. 
Uh, alright, Streetwise Investigator. Alright, I uh, won't see play in Constructed. Again, this is like 30 out of 100. 20, no, in fact, 15 out of 100. 2 Conditioner. Uh, next is Spell Damage plus 1, Demon. Uh, could you see play in... Uh, uh, let me see. Mid range shaman. I don't know, man. No, this is the first neutral demon. Pretty sure this is the first neutral demon. Oh, nah, this card is not really gonna be very good. So, like, sense demons, for example, may actually be back for demon lock. <coughs> but whatever. Oh, this card is going to be probably quite bad. 40 out of 100 or 45 out of 100 to be honest. Because actually this may be a little bit of potential but probably not. See play. Uh, Man of Women is a better version of Man of Women. Uh, but the thing is that it is 5 mana so you wouldn't see play in Temple stuff right. Whenever you cast a spell gain plus 2 attack. Oh yeah it may be 5 mana 4-6 and then 5 mana 6-6. Six, six. You cast two spells in a row, but um, uh, okay, uh, not really a good card to be honest in the arena, but I guess it is going to be alright. Yeah, but I don't know if this will see a play to be honest. Uh, Reno Mage maybe, maybe, but probably one. So I'm gonna say this is a. Uh, 60 of 100. I'm pretty scared to rate it low. And it's better cry restore 2 health. Now, nah, once it play, uh, no, to be honest, it may see a bit of play in, um, like you have uh, often read Farsian or something like that. So, this is a 2 mana 2 to restore 2 health. But probably won't see play as much as often. I forgot that name, but yeah. This card is probably still quite bad. And I'm gonna rate this card as 40 out of 100. Next we have a pirate, a neutral pirate. Actually, I'm pretty interested. This may actually see played in pirate deck. So I'm gonna rate this card as 66 out of 100. Uh, next. Oh, I think I didn't know. I didn't f forget any card. Right, yeah. Okay, um, okay. We have... Doper gangster, maybe the only rare minion that has seen play in, that can see play in buffs along with second wave bruiser, but that's all. So this is pretty decent to be honest because it is, it is a five mana six six. People may actually try this out. Don't know why it is um on rare. But yeah, this card is still gonna be pretty decent. It is really solid. Five minus six six is just solid, and then you can buff it some more. So I that's why I say this has potential. I'm gonna really say it's actually seventy. This card is decent. Like ball keeper, ball keeper is decent, but I just don't see him playing constructor because there are better cards. But that doesn't make ball keeper bad. I'm still gonna wait like bulk about 70 in constructor because it's not bad still. So this is also gonna be 70. Uh next is second wave bruiser taunts cost two less. If your opponent has at least three minions, uh I guess it may see playing taunts warrior. Uh, but probably not. But I guess it's still alright. Uh, I better end this earlier. But okay, um, this card is going to be not bad. And it's going to be 62 out of 100. Next is Bedroom Bouncer. Just a bad card, to be honest. So, I am going to read this card. Uh, probably bad. 22 out of 100. Next is Spiked Hot Rider if an enemy. No, this is just bad. But it has decent stats. So because of that, you may choose in an arena. But in Constructed, um, wouldn't see play 30 out of 100. 
Bomb Squad, uh, if you get this out of Fire Lens Porter, feels bad, man. Uh, better cry, do 5 damage to an enemy, meaning definitely do 5 damage to your hero. Hmm. Yeah, Fire Lens Porter, I, I feel for you. And as a mage player, oh no, man, oh no. So, this card, wouldn't see play. Bomb Lobber is much better because it just says, yeah. So I'm gonna read this card as bad, and it's gonna be about thirty out of hundred. Next, oh my god, they they made Cog Master Cog Ma no not Cog Master is Cog, C O G Master. Cog Master is very very good in Mac decks. Really good. Last time in the old days, I remember man, I remember the old days clearly when people play Mac decks. So this card, for example, is going to be really good. Ah, uh, has plus two attack where you have a uh, weapon equipped. Holy moly, this card is going to be 80 out of 100. I've never rated a, a, a neutral rare mean in that high before. But this card is so good, man. We we'll see you play in Pirate Warrior, Pirate Rogue and all of this. 80 out of 100, uh, maybe 83. Next we have Fell Ox Zofian. I guess it's like a technically a 3 mana 3-5 Give it taunts maybe, I don't know But uh People may just bring him down to Okay people may try to inflict 5 damage Actually this guy is not bad People may try to inflict 5 damage when you first play this Guys, so I'm gonna read this card at 67 out of 100. This we have why not burger bots. Whenever this attacks in a minion and survives, draw a card. Bad card over 30, 33 out of 100. Dirty red. Taunt your opponent, summons a random minion from their, from their hand. Guess it is alright. Death Lord is better though, but okay. This um, is still pretty good. I wonder if this card has 65. Next, you have Leather Clad Hog Leader. Uh, this is just really bad. I'm gonna read this card as 40 out of 100. Next, you have Bugly Booty. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, add a coin to your hand. Um, wouldn't see playing Constructor. In Constructor, this is gonna be about 40 out of 100. Okay, next we have Fights Promoter. May see play in hand buffing style because if you control a minion with 6 or more health, you can actually like, draw 2 cards. Like when this gets plus 2, plus 2, which may see play in bounce cards. So this actually has potential. But people may not play it. People may s s kind of play it. Because draw 2 cards is very powerful. A minion that draws 2 cards is always going to be very powerful. As long as the. Mana is not too much, like 10 mana, 2-2, two, two, draw 2 cards is useless. But this is 6 mana, okay make it 6-6, six, six, draw 2 cards. But I guess it's still gonna be alright, um, 70 out of 100. Or maybe not as much, just the end. Next, uh, I feel like I'm underrating this card though. Next is the fierce Cleaner, better cry silence, I mean with death better. Uh, oh, Zolf, why man, why are you gonna target in Zolf decks? But the thing is that, even you silence the minion with death Eater, when the minion dies, it still can bring back, it, it, it still can be brought back with Zolf itself, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, not that it's really good because of that, I'm gonna make this card as 50 out of 100. I think Blubber Baron. Um, whenever you summon a battle cry minion where this is in your hand, game plus one plus one, a bit too slow. I don't know if you have a lot of battle cry stuff, right? Uh, mm, either see play in hand buffing decks or no, even see play at all. This card will probably be 40 out of 100 or 30 out of 100. Next, we have Risa Tunneler. Death Rider summon shuffle this minion into your opponent's decks. It's like shifter zeros, right? Interesting effect, but saw no play at all. This is going to be seen like zero play. 
Auto eight is a beast. You wouldn't see playing hunter. Is is it like the ball that one one charge? You didn't see playing hunter. This one see playing hunter. Uh, this one see playing any decks as well. You even wouldn't see playing arena. So this card is probably gonna be about uh thirty thirty of hundred. Next we are at the legendaries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Oh, I think I missed out a legendary. Uh I'll find that probably. I don't know which one I missed out though. Which one did I miss out? I, I I forgot, but okay, I'll, I'll check. Anyways, Finger the Flying Star Stealth. Whenever this attacks and kills a minion, summon two Murlocs from the deck. We'll probably see you play in Aggro Murloc decks. So I'm not gonna rate this card as um pretty good. With this card as 78 out of 100 or 80 out of 100. Patches of Power would we'll, we'll probably see you play in um. A warrior maybe it's, it's a one mana card that you do not want to keep in your starting hand uh, but I can also see this card as has have no play at all really uh, this card is gonna be still pretty okay 74 out of 100 people I like Visa did show a video of OTK but uh, it's only 12 attack and all this the auction master Beardo after you cast a spell refresh a hero power. I mean yeah, you may actually see play in an OTK priest and all this. You got major dome and executors and then change your hero power hero to uh red nose the fire lord. May see play, to be honest. Like you also got Re Reza the chained, right? Reza the chain. So you just hero power click and then cast a spell when the spell hero power click and then all this. Next is Madam Goya. Uh, probably when you see a lot of play. Okay, wait. First off, I'm gonna read this card as. Uh, if this card as. 60, 62. Uh, Madam Goya is gonna be 58. I don't know what. Like, I don't really see this card can be played. Next is Sergeant Sally. Uh, you got the power overwhelming in Warlock, which is actually pretty good. May this see play? Uh, possible to be honest. I'm gonna read this card as um, 80 because it got the bars from Paladin as well. You can play this in hand buffing decks, you can play this in control Warlock. Holy moly. Next we have Mayo Nogan Fogger. Oh, this is a pretty interesting deck, uh, pre pretty interesting card. I, but I personally think this is um only going to be played in a fun deck. It's like Mogger the Augur, I think, if I'm not wrong. Mogger the Augur. All minions have 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. Mm, that card saw no play in, combat in, in competitive play at all. So this wouldn't see any competitive play, but this is going to be seen in fun play. But even though see in competitive, um, this guy is probably like 60 because it affects yourself as well. So yeah. This is Rathian. Taunts Battlecry, draw cards until you draw one that isn't a dragon. Obviously Dragon Priest is going to love this card. This card is going to like, even 6 mana, 4, 5, draw 2 cards. It's like Arcane Intellect. Arcane Intellect is 3 mana. So this will be a 3 mana 4 5, which is really good. 6 mana 4 5 draw a card is really not bad. And it also has taunts. Okay, next we have Genzo the Shark. Whenever this attacks, both players draw until. Okay, wait. This card is gonna be 89. Okay, Genzo the Shark. Whenever this attacks, both players draw until they have 3 cards. Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be alright. But uh, we didn't really see it play. May see play in aggro decks. But I think this is way too conditional. So I'm going to discard as 55. And now, since I missed a legendary, I'm going to go to this website real quick.
So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see which uh, legendary I missed. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, it is just only eight. So I really did not miss any legendary. Thought there would be nine legendaries. But anyways, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed. But this still I'm not gonna make it any longer. Bye.